Hello everyone, Kree here, bringing you back in the Kimo top lane, and today we are against Giga Smurf Draven, who's apparently playing AJ, so I guess he's not a Smurf at all. <laughs> or he's just, you know, a liar, because that's not what his name is. But yeah, we are against AJ. Before I do say the runes, I'm currently going into this mad lad. I do want to say the comment question of the day. Now, in the last video, you guys actually answered the comment question of the day, and you know, it was nice. Hearing about what you guys' favorite ice cream flavor was, so this time I'm gonna keep it, gonna keep this question more basic, but I'm actually gonna keep it league related this time. So, what is your favorite skin of all time? It does not have to be Camille. So, your favorite skin of all time? Me personally, I obviously mainly play Camille, so I don't get to look at much skins. So, I'm definitely gonna have to say Invictus Gaming Camille, just cause it's not flashy like uh, Coven is. It's like just, it's just the right amount, you know. It's simple, it's plain. The animations also feel very smooth when I'm actually playing it, so this is why, so I like it. Please relax, Jace. I, I, I mean no harm. <laughs> but anyways, the runes I'm currently going to this guy are Press Attack, Triumph, Alacrity. Then we have Last Stand into Bits of Delivery and Time Warp Tonic. So Jace sucks to go against him as a melee champion. He actually beats Camille very hard, but the thing is, very few people actually know how to play the matchup. So majority of the time, you'll have a good time in the Jace. But if he actually knows how to play the matchup, which is basically anytime you go for a W, he instantly changes into hammer stamps, hits the Q on you. Well, he W's first to get through the empowered auto attacks, right? Then he R's, hammer stance Q's you into you, that way you miss out on your W. Then he goes for a full combo and leaves immediately. That's how he wants to play it. And then, obviously, afterwards he just goes for his range auto attacks once more, and then he continues pressuring you, right? But not many Jaces actually play that aggressive in their hammer stance early on, so you should be just fine. A lot of stuff is going on <laughs> apparently lag by the way we did invade and we did get draven's flash so i will say that right now in case i do have to make a tp play balling and you notice the guy doesn't flash that's pretty much why right so we are against jace uh i will say this right now you're never gonna max e into jace you can match into some matchups yeah but never into jace just because jace he can knock you out of your e with his hammer stance like i said all if jace is really very good at changing into hammer stance very quickly then he should be able to just destroy you that simple but you're never gonna max e into him if you're ever flying towards him and he E's you away in time, then all of, a, all of a sudden your E just doesn't work, right? All those points you put into it go to waste. It's just that simple. Yikes. Right now, the enemy team is popping off. We got an autofill jungle, by the way, which kind of sucks. This guy seems to be a Shaco main, which kind of sucks. <laughs> but yeah, we got a pike mid. Yeah, we are technically full AD. We do have an Amumu, though, so if he goes AP, it's nice. But even if he doesn't, it should be okay. Just because their team, not the tankiest, right? Their only tank, re realistically, is Thresh. So, he's the only guy who can actually build full armor, right? And then, we do have Execute on Pike on this ultimate. True damage, we have true damage on my part. So, it should be just fine. Jace, he backed to get a Corrupting Potion. Or maybe that's what he... No, that's what he had first. He bought Dorian's Blade and... Uh, hello, Mr. Shaco. I'm gonna just force you to walk away here. This is very important that I do. Just take this, dude. That's all I want from you. I just want you to take this. Uh, Mr. Pike, can you walk over here? I'm just gonna walk away. Man, Pike took so long just to do anything. Like, he was clearing mid, and it just... I, I feel bad. I wish I, I should've pinged. I definitely most certainly should've pinged, but... My god, Pike. My, my, my guy. <laughs> like, you think Pike would actually be all over this. Move, my move actually came. I was trying to get this guy to cap for free, but yeah, that just obviously didn't happen, right? I'm gonna go double long trader into this. Or I could just go straight to Tabby. Yeah, Tabby is just infinitely better, if I'm being honest with you guys. Tabby's just so good into a champion like Jace, who's an auto attack based champion, right? Who's, his main harass is gonna be AD, but not too much in his range. Auto attacks, it's gonna be very important. This guy's also going AD Shaker, so if he ever does gank me, this is gonna actually help tremendously. And my bot lane is unfortunately, uh. You know, 1-2 with the support having a kill. But Draven is 3-0, which actually sucks tremendously. And apparently she's lagging so hard, which honestly is really saddening to hear. <laughs> but we will see. So once you are level 6, by the way, the matchup is pretty much easier, I guess. I would like to say. Just because Jace doesn't have a real level 6, whereas you do. So you actually can go for 100-0 once you do have enough AD. But if Jace does happen to go lethality, which generally they do, you're going to have a hard time. If he goes normal Bruiser Black Cleaver, well, okay, that's not normal at all. But if the Jace decides to go tier build, or, like I said, Bruiser with the Black Cleaver start, then you'll actually have a lot easier time because you'll be outputting less damage. Which is pretty nice. My god. <laughs> oh 
My god, is this game just pretty bad, dude. 7 1 right now. I, there's still a little bit of hope of people bringing it back or the enemy team choking, but we will see. Drop this Q here, farm difference. Jace is ahead of me by a little bit. I mean, it does make sense, right? The guy has more pressure than me early on, so never beat yourself up if you end up falling behind in farm, so do keep that in mind. Okay, yeah, no flash level one river, and you roam river. What? For no reason I was coming about to get- I don't know what he's talking about, doesn't matter. Anyways, keep trimming this out. Once my pike is level 6, I am going to look to make a play with the guy. That is probably the best bet of me winning this game is just playing off this pike because he's the only one who's not inting. Yeah, he's 0-1-1, but... You know, this guy's 5-0, and this one's 3-1. and Like, I don't want to play off anyone else. He should be 6 sorely. I'm on my way here is what I would say, but obviously this is warded, so I have to take this out first. After you take out a ward, they are alive for two seconds. So I'm going to pretend to walk up, then walk back down. I'm going to drop a ward over here. Control ward this one, obviously, in case there is a ward here. And just be on my merry way. Another control ward here. I have TP for this. TP here. You should kill. Nice. Wow, that Thresh play was insane. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm not sure if that was intentional or not, but it worked out. Hit the Q. Press the R key. Nice, that works out. Just see what I mean? We have hope. The enemy tip throws by going for a pretty bad dragon call, and it works out. Unfortunately, I couldn't get anything off the... Very smart on the move, by the way. Just being topside here, clearing all that. I like He's catching up on XP, which is very important. Don't troll now. Like, why are you walking at him? <laughs> for what reason? <laughs> the guy actually just straight up trolled. I have my ultimate, though, so if Jace does happen to stick around, I am going to look for the kill. I'm actually going to look for an E-Flash on top of him as well, just because it'll be very easy. And it'll pocket me an easy gold. E? He doesn't E. Auto Q2. There should be a kill here. He already flashed. He just hit Phase Rush. W, nice. 350 gold. I'll take that riot. Anyways, that's pretty good. Thank you, Pike, for the pinks. I appreciate it. Yeah, unfortunately, because Thresh flayed me, and he didn't, like... He didn't... He flayed me at the right time to where my E wouldn't hit Cassiopeia, or him as well, so I didn't get an assist, which kind of sucks, on the Thresh at least. I got the assist on Cassiopeia, because I did auto at first, because I was apparently point-blank melee range, I wasn't paying attention. But I got the assist regardless, right? Which works out for me, and we are going to be going towards Phage, obviously. Uh, this guy got two plating, that does suck, but not the end of the world. Drop Q here, Pike is 3-1, and one. he has 40 CS, that really sucks, but he's playing Pike, all this dude's land is ultimate on a couple kills, and he, all of a sudden he has a ton of gold, right? We are looking good so far. Auto Q2 here. Drop this W. I think I will sell my biscuits and potions just for a sheen here. I don't have to finish my phase by any means at all. Although it will help tremendously. If I can just pocket a sheen right now, it'd be pretty good. Alright, let's back here now. Oh, nice job. Flash ultimate. I really like that play. And that should lead to the kill. Good job. I'm almost bringing it back after all that inting. I really like that, dude. I really do. So anyways, pick up the sheen right here like I wanted to. Pretty good. He got Herald top side, which means he's probably going to use a top. It's going to be the easiest lane for him to get it to unless this is, yeah, this is full plating. He's probably going to use a top side. That's what I'm going to expect. They'll probably try to make a dive play on me. If they don't make a dive play, well, Jace is going to harass us either way. So I do want to be very careful. Don't have any wards. Don't have a control ward. Don't sell my bill skits for that either. So I'm just going to walk up here. W, he's not here. All right, very important to note. Auto Q2, really good damage. Nice, we take those. I just want to go for a short shot. He did all this damage in my shield. If he waited, that would have been a lot better for him because then he actually gets some malice off. But he did everything to my shield, so we're looking pretty good. He's looping back around here. If my ultimate comes back up, I will all in him. Oh, that actually hit me. We're going to set up a freezer. Not going to pop the biscuit yet because obviously you heal more the lower HP you are, so do keep that in mind. Of course, you're going to miss that. Alright, yeah, I took a lot of damage here, but it's fine. Pop this now. We do see Shaco bot lane. They're trying to make a play. He's looking for another Kiwi combo. Yeah, there it is. Make sure you're not standing in the way of that, so you don't take damage, obviously, right? But I do have my ultimate now, which is very important. Q2. He eat me. No, he didn't. Alright. I guess I interrupted his E, which kind of sucks, not gonna lie. Dodge that. Oh, it's warded. Q2! Oh, bro, that's an auto cancel? I didn't know that. That's See, I've played Jace before, but that's the one thing I've never never known. His R is an auto cancel. That's so interesting. All right, now that I know that, that's good to know. 
I also could have early Q2 there, by the way. If I early Q2, I would have proc pressed the attack, and I think that actually would have killed. So that's definitely my bad. This is my first game of the day, by the way. But like I said, that is my bad. Wow, I did not know his arc counted as an auto cancel. That's very good to know. And I used to play Jace myself. We're gonna buy a controller over here. We did dodge out on his QE combo, which is pretty good, but unfortunately that bush was warded. I did not know that. If it wasn't warded, I would have taken that extra auto attack and I would have actually survived. Because I was literally sitting here waiting for him to walk up and place a ward or just walk up in general, which really sucks. Oh, well, I guess these things do happen. I would hope that Pike starts roaming soon. He has a very big lead. He probably wants to stick in lane just because he doesn't want to give Cassiopeia too much gold. I get that. But at some point, he has to make the move, right? Oh, pink for a gank with this guy here. I will drop this control ward now. Did his ward die? Yeah, I'm assuming this was it right here. This little debris. But anyways, we'll ping for a gank just once more. See if Pike just want to walk topside, which he does. I appreciate that. Drop W. He's looking for something. No, he's not. All right. Q2. This should be a kill here. You don't have ult, do you? Ah, oh, that really sucks. I also could have queued him right there. I'm pretty sure he would have died. Actually, he definitely would have died, but... I just wasn't paying attention. Or I also could have W'd slowed him down a little bit. Even though he had phase, that should would have helped, right? First turn mid lane. Man, first game of the day is not looking good for me, huh, guys? But it's okay. These things do happen. He didn't have his ult up. He was like two seconds off of it or something. Feels really bad. But I can get a ton of plating right here right now, which is really good for me. Wow, you're still here, dude? Please get greedy with me. You think he'll throw QE in this bush? I hope so, but I hope he misses. If he hits me, it will suck tremendously. I should be able to kill the guy here. That's what I'm looking to do, because I do have my passive shoot, which is very important. Q2, walk away, nice. Just like that, like I said, I'm looking to kill the guy very easily. I pressed my R. I mean, I had to flash her, obviously, right? Generally, you want to hold your ultimate as a gap closer in case he obviously doesn't push you far enough away. For example, he pushes you next to a wall or something, right? But, obviously, that wasn't the case. I had to build my flash here to pick up the kill, but it's honestly worth it. Me getting that kill there gets me so much closer to Triforce, which is very important. Unfortunately, if I played that better, for example, hitting the w wing him or, you know, queuing instantly right after... Uh, Pike got him low and used all his abilities, then I obviously wouldn't have to waste my flash for that instance right there. But, hey, mistakes happen, right? And we just simply have to learn from them. Take top on me mid. Hi. I didn't expect you to be here. Kind of sucks that you were here just because that means I can't get Trinity Force now. Which really sucks. I wanted to go for at least, the very least, two more minions, right? Just to get Trinity Force, but I'm going to agree. Either way. Auto Q. I missed it. Oh, I missed it for no reason, dude. Are you kidding me, Riot? Not enough damage, I guess, but whatever. It's back. I'll just simply be in base and I'll wait for the item. I see Drake is spawning. I do have TP for it. If Jace actually wants to take my top turret, I honestly don't care anymore now that first turret is gone. Me, when it comes to me, I personally just, I personally don't mind giving a turret as long as it's just not first turret to my enemy top laner. Because then that comes down to me, you know, giving him a lot of extra gold for no reason, right? Rather than the regular amount of turret gold. I do have TP, and it's better I actually walk top lane. Because in case he does actually try to push this out, I want to look for the fight into him. Since now I do have Triforce, I can go for 100 0 into Jace. He. He can't handle his own me, believe it or not. He's not that strong. He has one lethality out of Matabi, but Jace is a burst champion. He's not an all-in champion. Unless the target's very squishy. I do have TP here. TPing over here. I can E over the wall, right? Remember that? I'm looking to go onto this guy here. Unless they lose the fight really hard. Yeah. That sucks tremendously. Oh, she killed the right one. I'm ready to go in, it's just Amumu's not in, not with me there, and I can't go for the 1v2, unfortunately, which really sucks. Thresh just has way too much CC. Yeah, they just took a really bad fight. I think this guy just got perma CC, which is the issue. Doesn't get perma CC, he's actually okay. But he did, which kind of sucks. Ash, you can ping it all you want, girl. I'm half HP, less than half, I'm not gonna go in. Whatever. I saw Leona going for this guy, but I'm like, if I kill the wrong person near it, everything just falls apart into shambles, which is why I didn't want to jump in there. And obviously, I don't focus Draven just because I'll easily, he'll easily cap me out with Thresh, right? So I just gotta play it real slow. Trying to decide what I actually truly want to do and not. Um, this should actually work out for us. I need my EQ to be up, so I'm not gonna. Pike, baby, what is you doing? Alright, whatever, it works out. Shaco doesn't steal. Alright, that works tremendously for us. 
Let's see. Let's go drop. Don't mind if I do. I'm 2 1 and 2. Obviously, I don't have the amount of KP I would want, but literally every single fight has been happening. So it's the bot side of the map, so you guys really can't expect too much from me, right? He gets Herald. You get that, good sir. I'm also looking to make a play over here, but I'm a little bit wary of Jace, right? He's not here. Shaco's right here. He misses that, unfortunately. Oh, there's actually Warded as well. And you guys got control wards everywhere, don't you? Shaco's around here. You gotta be a little bit careful. I'm gonna go top side is what I would say, but I guess Pike is already on his way, so I'll just be sitting here. I'd rather not be against the Cassiopeia, too, just because... Please relax. Jesus Christ. She hit me with one QE. <laughs> I lost 500 HP, 400 HP. It's because she has this finish already. She has this finish before 20 minutes. It's actually insanely good for her. Oh, you sure like last hitting 17 minutes in the game? Drop that W, pick up cannon, and simply walk away. Use our range ability so we don't have to walk up and put ourselves in any unnecessary danger. Q here, auto you. Q2. I'm sorry, guys. I have, like, a pretty bad headache. Like, it's actually pretty darn bad if I'm being honest, but I'm still recording this regardless just because I do want to get something out for you guys. This game is definitely more on a little slow pace on my side of the... Jeez, I can't speak. This game is definitely more slow paced on my end, but I'll... maybe I'll edit it. Maybe I won't. I'm not entirely sure. And if I edit it, it's literally just going to be cuts no more, no less. I'm going to say right here, you guys literally need the back and come top side. They want to trade. Oh, I'm dying. <laughs> oh, I'm dying because I'm not paying attention. Feels bad, man. And this guy wants to forfeit. Alright, well, I did die for no reason, which kind of sucks, but... We never trade when they are obviously going to use Herald. It just simply doesn't do anything. You guys have to come back up immediately. But yeah, I was pretty much AFK because I wasn't paying attention. Hit the hook. Nice. Ash, you neglected to kill that. That kind of sucks. On my way, though. I did troll, but I will turn this into a good fight for us. Draven isn't here for some reason, by the way. That works out. Gonna drop this Kyuki here. Walk him this way. Shut him down. Jace, where are you, buddy? I'm gonna take this. Jace really, like, actually did. You right here? He has ults, though. I'm with you. Nice cleanse. It's not going to matter, though. Q2. One more auto attack. Pike, buddy! You got nothing for me, man! <laughs> oh my god, that's so tragic. He missed his Q. And he was, like, literally a pixel away on top of that, which really sucks. But you know what? It works out, I guess. I mean, that's so depressing, Pike. You're so slow. And for what? He has Merc tries to set up boots and mobility, which is really bad. Merc doesn't really do anything for him. He's not gonna reduce- The only CC he's gonna reduce is Fear and this girl's ultimate, which is, honestly isn't worth it, in my opinion. Which is why I went Tabby, because they have more AD-based champions doing more damage. So yeah, that's that guy's cleanse, which is very important to point out, right? 3 minutes and 30 seconds, pretty good. Do I have water? I do have water. Water, very important. Headache, you know? Hydrate yourself. <laughs> Ocean Drake is coming up. We definitely want this. Unfortunately, I mean, this is all the way over here, so we actually do have the downtime to pick this up real quick. So we definitely need Ash to start moving now. It's a minute, girl. We want to prep this up. We want to make a pick happen here, too. Should be a pick. Maybe nothing you can do. Q2. Nice. Use his ultimate there. I don't have my R, but flash over. Nice. Dodge the Voider ultimate. Zone him off. Walk back over here. Pick that up. Nice. Good job. And I will take my cuts, good sir. Uh, shove this out, I guess. Shaco's on the back end, which is pretty unfortunate. Um, She's going to run into Shaco here. Yeah, I'm kind of scared. Oh, Ash is the one dealing with them. Like, can we just leave? Oh! I can't move, dude, when he's saving his knockup. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I gotta go back to base, anyways. Yeah, like, Javen's literally saving his knockup for my E right there. He literally interrupted me only. He wasn't even looking at the Moomoo, which kind of sucks, but here's what it is. This guy's right here, as someone else can deal with him. Like I said, I wanna go to base. 
Ash is already here though, which I didn't pay attention to. How's it going? Auto Q2, auto attack, nice. I have TP for Drake, which is why I actually want to be the one here instead of Ash, right? But Ash had to restart her HP anyways, which is why she didn't die. No, Leona did, but she didn't, which is very important. Q that, I actually do want to bring this under Terry here, it just makes it easier, right? Yeah, my Terry will lose a bit of HP, but it just makes it easier to actually take this out a lot faster, so I can look for a TP if needed. You over here, you're going to pick up another longsword. And remember, we are going to pay attention if we have the TP. The ultimate does go down, just literally back off. We don't want the fight. We literally got the objective. You never want to fight after you just need to take an objective, by the way, unless it's a really good fight for you. Just because there's no real reason to go for it, right? There's nothing to fight over anymore. So, you should be just fine. To back off, disengage once you get what you need, and everything's nice and dandy, right? And now we are going to just push this out as far as I can, pretty much, just because it's going to be very important that we have the downtime to actually roam up my team without having necessarily TP. Q2, stop autoing me. Please auto the wave. I appreciate it. Thank you. Q2W. Back to you. Hit the Q2. Missed it. 104 damage. You have a ton of armor. Sucks to suck, but it is what it is. Krugs are up, but unfortunately I don't have the necessary lifestyle to actually do what I want to do, so I'm just going to focus this down. Another bot lane, which really sucks. I mean, it's actually better for me, right? If they're pushing top side out of nowhere, it sucks tremendously for me. But now that I actually am 100 gold off, I'm actually going to go for the Herald now. Now that I don't care about my sustain, right? I'm going to back here anyways, just so I can finish my Ravnus Hydra. A fight is actually breaking out right now, and when I mean fight, I mean a nice juicy pick, which is really good. Don't get hooked. Nice. Alright, that's worth. I don't know why you're pinging me, man. I have TP, but I also have half my HP, which is why I can't go for anything. They just pulled the trigger when I was, when obviously I wasn't there, so they just shouldn't have simply done it. That's their bad. That's the real one. Take that out. Drop ward right here. His flash wasn't necessary, by the way, but he flashed regardless, which is interesting. Uh, this guy's over here. We definitely want to pick this guy. He was looking to actually backdoor inhibitor. Yeah, I'm walking back. We can't keep chasing this guy for no reason. We're going to have a movement with this, though, so it's actually perfectly fine. We actually don't need our boy uh, Pike for this. We're having a Sidra here. I'm actually going to walk down see if I can find them. Uh, they're actually not there. Alright, whatever. Let's just shove bot lane out. One away for Drake. That's definitely going to be our win con, by the way. Dragon Soul. We could go for Baron anytime soon, but honestly, it's not even worth us trying to risk a Baron, right? Like Ash said, soul points, which is very important that we actually play towards your soul and not this Baron. Baron is that Baron will help us close out the game, but it's not immediately what we need right now. We just simply need this soul. The enemy team has the majority of the turrets. They have 7 to R1. But once we do happen to get this dragon, we should be able to make a lot riskier plays. Good job, Draven Oak coming through, but it's actually going to be missing out. Nice, that's really huge for us. Um, Pretty sure I beat the Jace. I just hope that there's not a random Thresh down bot lane shadowing him. My come for this, I am waiting. Might have to go for a free kill if I want to, right? My ult will be back up by the time this dragon is up. Picks up turret top lane. Good job, good sir. I'm just going to keep pressuring down here. Just applying pressure. Try to bring people towards my way. Shaco, Jace might try to go top side, by the way. Just to backdoor the inhibitor. Auto Q. I'm going to run this way. They have three top side. Door four. One of the... Yeah, three top side. So I want to see if I can find Jace over here. While I do have the chance. You take that over. There's Jace. Hits me up for 300 damage. Just scorch. I don't know that. I'm going to pick this up here. Very important that we have Scuttle Vision for the Dragon. Though, honestly, I'd want to stall out for a little bit more, but I feel like enemy team actually just might come down for this anytime soon, so I'm definitely going to take this up now, right? Hit this up. I got you. No Vision in the jungle. They're looking to make a play over this. They probably want to trade. If they want to trade, we definitely take the trade. Q2. I was going to press R, but I didn't realize that Terra was there. He's looking up here. Uh, fight. Hit the ultimate. Nice. Someone. It's Cassiopeia. Not going to focus her down. 
She flashed away, so that's all I can really do, right? If I want to go forward, I could go forward more, but I don't have to. Uh, Shaco might be back here. I got it. I have TP. I just hope I don't get interrupted. That's literally it. I'm also going to be going towards a GA here, by the way. Uh, Ashley? Just go towards Terex Age. Don't tell me you guys are fighting immediately the moment I back. Yeah, that really sucked. Can you guys actually walk down here, please? Thank you. Uh, Ash is getting picked here. TPing right here. Jim into the bad spot. Pressing R. Make sure I stay on top of him. He has insane amount of Lucy. Back on the Cassiopeia. Flash! Jesus Christ. Oh, he can't finish anyone off. This is hilarious. <laughs> oh, the phase rush. That was actually insane. If he got the phase rush off and went on to me right there, that would have been sick. Jesus Christ. I tried flash key 2 in the Cassiopeia there, but she still died regardless. But if I actually got the key 2 off, I would have healed in the same amount of HP, which would have been perfect. But whatever. It's for me to actually turn on the Jace who was actually trying to chase me down. Um, I don't think we want to do this. Just because Shaco is up. Yeah, we definitely don't want to start it. But he's going to start it regardless. Our Mumu's going to get there late. Amumu will be there. Wait, compared to Shaco. I hope he finishes it. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to do it. Wow, Perma Fear, dude. I mean, it's not the right one, I assume, yeah. That's why I didn't want to do it, but Pike wasn't listening. He just wanted to do it himself, which kind of sucks. Ah, oh boy. Whatever. <laughs> whatever, he said. <laughs> All we seem to have to do is wait for our guy. But whatever is his attitude, I guess. Wow, you sure are trying your hardest, dude. Should be a kill. Wow. I'm not sure what healed him. I guess Time Warp Tonic? Yeah, he has Corrupting Potion, right? I guess that kept them alive. And they also killed Cassiopeia here, which is really good. Just walk away. I don't know why you're auto-attacking. Just walk away. We actually look to do Baron now. If this guy steals again, man, it's going to be really bad. Now I don't care. Smite it. <laughs> yeah, okay, dude. I'm low, though. You have lifesteal. You have lifesteal, and this is also up for you. I don't have my E up to check if Shaco's here or not. Pretty sure he is. He's gonna smite steal this. There's Thresh Flash. We're on this guy right here. Wow, you're fast as hell, dude. That's <laughs> your mobility boots? Yes, it is. Relax, man. Q2 here. Keep showing us out. Relax, dude. Like, why are you so aggressive? I mean, I'm perfectly fine here. Javik can keep bottoming all he wants, but... Nice. Storm Razor is annoying. Dude, I'm gonna back here. We're very close to our Sterix gauge. I'm actually gonna go pick up these camps over here, just because it's gonna be very important. They pick up the kill on Shaco. Good job, guys. Auto Q2. Start moving down here. Pick this up. I don't have TP. Not much I can actually do about that. What I will do though is go bot lane here. Uh, abuse this right here. The pressure they're putting off right now to go bot lane here. I guess we're all gonna back to defend him. Alright. I feel like it'd be better if we just traded, but I guess not. Auto here. Pick a pickaxe. Did I say auto here? Sell this. <laughs> Simply just sell it. Alright, Leona's sitting all the way mid lane. I don't know why, but she is. It's 4v4, we just simply gotta wait for Cass. That's his ultimate. Nice! Q2. Nice, got my damage off. Walk behind her. Back on Draven. Q2. Nice! Over here now. Good, Cass. Good Leona ultimate, by the way. That was actually phenomenal. Like, good stuff, if I do say so myself. She didn't hit that. She left her ass, man. Leave it for Ash, dude. Definitely don't want to take that. That's why I didn't do it myself. I was going to do it originally, but it's just better that Ash has it, right? But anyways, that was just phenomenal play right there. Like, Leona's ultimate just literally put that all together. If she actually didn't hit at a single one of them with the stun, it would have been very bad. She did cleanse it, and then it still went to a stopwatch. Or Zanya's, but it just wasn't enough. We get Hibbert off this, by the way, which is very good for us.
Shaco just queued. Kind of surprising. I mean, he's not going to one shot anyone, especially our Astro GA. Q2 here. Keep it pushing, guys. And Ness is back off. That should be a kill. Ah, oh, that's so poorly mistimed, man. Actually, so poorly mistimed. Well, we all die there, but thankfully, you know, this isn't up right now, which is just the most important thing. This guy has 4.9k gold. He refused to spend. Interesting. Hey, we definitely want to immediately back off there. I wanted to R on top of the Shaco, but my team killed the clone instantly, which is really bad. So that kind of just fucked us up really badly there. Whatever. I guess it's okay. We are going to be going towards AG yeah, now. We're going to buy the stopwatch component, by the way, because it's actually going to be more important to us than anything else. And we're all going to be up for drag, which is actually very important, which is going to be the sole point for us. The enemy team is definitely going to try to take it, but they actually might return take this. Ash, you cannot... Yeah, just back off. You can't wave clear this. Like, I don't know what you're thinking. We definitely defend this one over here, though, if they actually walk for it. Hit the R, nice. Queuing off this. Stopwatch. Nice hook. Shaco's right here. Yeah. Please kill him. Like, he should not get away with that. Yeah, that's what I thought, dude. <laughs> like, there's really no way Shaco should get away with that one. Because Shaco actually went for me, he does die. Um, they're looking to kill Pike. Not gonna be enough. Can we get Soul now? Soul. Good job, team, following up on me right there. Pike saw that I was going for the nice dandy chase on the Thresh and chase, and it worked out. I should have altered the Thresh key, by the way. I was so, I was, I really wanted to go for this guy, get my ultimate on him, but, you know, obviously I tunnel vision a little bit too hard. I definitely should have altered the Thresh. Yeah, like, I don't know. Uh, are we going to go for the end instead? No, we can. Nice. All right, that's a better call. <laughs> just if we get soul, we can literally do this again, but it just be a lot easier for us, right? One more auto attack. Nice, good job. And just like that, it's going to be the end of the game. But yeah, sorry I didn't play the, you know, an actual good performance. i recording this pretty late. I have a headache, but I knew I wanted to get something for you guys. Because it's pretty much, well, I'm going to be going out celebrating for my birthday. So I won't be getting a video up for you guys like that. But yeah, GG played. Like, comment, and subscribe to see you guys next video. Peace!